Hello there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh, 5am here in Dhaka. So today we'll be reviewing a fragrance from House of Hermes. And this is not a brand new fragrance, but it's brand new in my collection. So I've been owning this for a couple of days. So I'll be doing initial impression, uh, perhaps in the summer months. Hopefully if I'm here, I will do a full on take. So the fragrance is going to be the very first release from this line of Hermes. And I am not very good at these names, you know. So this is Unjardin and Mediterranean. I think that's the name. I'm sorry if I butchered it up. Uh, and this is from the collection Hermes, okay. So this is basically a bottle. I check out the batch code. It was a release of 2003, if I'm not mistaken. And this bottle is from 2013. I wrote it down under the box. So it changed juice color a little bit. And I'll talk about it. So from this line, I don't know how many I exactly reviewed. I don't remember. But I definitely remember reviewing Unjard and Surle Nil. I had that. So perhaps Surle Toa I did review. I don't remember. I had small, small samples. But this particular line of Unjard basically are themed after... It's like after a garden or something like a poetry or something, you know, fresh, you know, by the Nile. You know, you get the idea. A little bit of uh, greenery, a little bit of water, a little bit of freshness, herbal, uh, lighter take, you know, cologne style perfume. So they have quite a few, you know, they have, I think, uh, six, seven or more in this line. So the thing is, this line is a little bit more expensive than regular Hermes fragrances. And Hermes basically is not cheap. These are more higher end designers, even if they get discounted. They are not cheap, cheaper than $70 or so. They are Hermes, those line, or a uh, <clears throat> few other lines, you know. Their Hermes line is like Voyage de Hermes. They are affordable, but this line, uh, Unjardin, is a little bit pricey in Bangladesh. It's around $85 for 100 mil if you can find one, but these are not a regular uh, fragrance you see in the shops. So I bought it recent times, and uh, I basically uh, went to meet a friend. He had a few fragrances, and I thought like, if he is willing to sell some, he it would be like, you know, he brought some. Then I, I took few. He had a lot more. But I saw this. I was like, not sure if I want to take it because of the description I read in the uh, Fragrantica. Most people said this is kind of like not the longest lasting. So I was like, uh, pricey. Let's see. But when I sprayed it you know, on my hand, he was kind enough to let me test it. It was a brand new bottle. When I tested it on my skin, I fell in love with it because of the fig note. Okay, if you are a fan of fig, you must check out this fragrance. Okay, I'll tell you in details. I'll speak slow because I'm not well today. My voice is a little bit uh, weak, but hopefully you can hear me. So this one comes in 100 mil and really beautiful artwork on the box. Okay, okay, it's like white box. It, it's very beautiful painting. If you can appreciate art, these are very artistic. The name in front, this is EDD Concentration Collection Hermes. And you can see Hermes up there, the logo. There is the batch code bottom. And this fragrance has a story at the back, which I'm not going to read, but this is the box. It looks really nice. When you open it, even it continues the blue inside, you know, really like the blue touch. Sort of feels like, you know, Greece, you know, Greece has those beautiful houses you see in the movies or documentary, beautiful ocean. And then you see beautiful white house with that white and blue paints everywhere and blue skies looks like heaven, right? So here's the bottle. These are all the bottles they come in this kind of uh, bottles and then look at the juice color many of your juice color will be different than mine so this is already nine years old 2013 until 2022 so it's basically changed the color of the juice i think uh, i could be wrong if your bottle juice color is same okay but i think the juice color matured and this one became quite strong okay so this is the cap the cap basically is plastic it's a uh, clicks onto place you can pick it up looks very nice i like the juice color now it's very boozy kind of ambery juice color right and the bottle basically at the base has this blue sorry my t-shirt of it's i'm wearing new zealand jersey this is one of the world cup jerseys i really love this and this bottle basically is like transparent and then base it gets kind of blue greenish right so heavy thick glass base the name in front um, bottom you find your like the sticker and the thing is this is a unisex release the whole line basically is for both gents and uh, ladies okay so i have it on my hand for one hour so the dry down already reached and it's very rich very creamy let's do one the sprayers on these are very beautiful okay i love the sprayers check out the spray oh man where did i spray i sprayed on my phone i'm so sorry <laughs> why it, it, see it moves if i put okay sorry maybe i bring it back like this yeah now okay okay sprayer is very very good really huge distribution so i actually got some on my watch too no man disaster <laughs> sorry about that so this one it opens up 
very beautifully okay i fell in love with the opening spray the burst is so energetic so fresh so natural like hermes is a master perfumer you know like jean claude elena perhaps made this yes and he made some great fragrances which are very uplifting very natural natural is the big word because many fragrances which are not natural smell synthetic and alcoholic a major like a turn off right for many people this house of hermes you have seen me uh, like reviewing recent times h24 even that opening is so natural citrus uh, some of the other ones from Terre d'Hermes line, you know, like their uh, Eau Très Fresh or Vetiver, every single like orange note and the citrus, lime, they do it so well. When you smell it for the first time, it's literally like such a juicy, it's like a, by the beach you are sitting, there's a nice bar and they made you a refreshing drink in a warm summer day, summer's day, okay? Even if you're not a fan of fig, you actually love the opening. It smells like very ripe, uh, mix of a lot of fruit juice like mandarin orange uh, perhaps some grapefruit some citruses some lemon and then they use it like let's say tequila sunrise or uh, there are some fragrances that are not fragrance some drinks they use heavy orange juice so i don't i i forgot <laughs> you know what are the drinks there were <clears throat> but definitely by the beach sitting there with a drink with a hat you know with a lot of tropical fruits and uh, i think there is a bergamo there's that orange so definitely a big orange blast like the orange peel and you smell that ripeness of that orange very sweet and like the juice color it gives you a lot of like a orangey vibe oh man i look creepy in there <laughs> so basically let me actually read the notes because i don't remember all the notes uh, let me read from fragrantica uh, bergamo lemon and mandarin orange those three i got them correct middle notes are orange blossom that is neroli and then white nerium I can't read my specs, the power changed. Uh, clean, I don't know what that is actually. There's some sort of like fruit. And then they have the fig leaf, which is a big note. Cypress, red cedar, juniper, pistachio, and musk. So those are some really amazing notes, isn't it? So when you hear pistachio, you know, pistachio is something that I love. The greenness of it, the, the very light, you know, feel like, unlike almonds, you know, they have like big taste, you know, like big nutty feel, but the pistachio is lighter, good for your body. So basically that fig comes to play at the heart, you know, instead of the base, I get the fig from the heart note. After one hour, the fig is so prominent and the fig is somewhere between a fig fruit and a fig leaf. It's green and sweet at the same time. Thing is, fig is a very uncommon note. I have reviewed quite a few fragrances like Omanity by Thierry Mugler, okay, female perfume that has a huge fig leaf, but more milky fig. And then they have uh, fragrances like uh, Fico di Amalfi, Aqua di Parma. I reviewed that as a very citrusy take, similar style with this, but this is a lot more richer. Then there's like Noble Fig by Ferrari. I really like that citrusy fig. And one more is Dior's Dune, Dune, Purum, okay? So these four I remember from top of my head, I reviewed. You can check out my review on those. So I fell in love with Dune, Purum. That was my first fragrance. D uh, D what did I say? <laughs> fig based fragrance you know i'm sorry if you heard that wrong anyway so if you never smell fig in a fragrance it's a very distinctive note and you may not really be big fan of fig I, i'll admit it to you cypress fig and this kind of juniper is very unusual notes for most people because people are usually used to pineapple apple blackcurrant citrus grapefruit these are more common fig is uncommon so i have been a fan of fig for last two years or three years so i actually love this a lot so but the thing is I would, i'm not sure if everybody would perceive it as the same way i did i absolutely love it i think this is going to be a stunner it's a stunner of a fragrance because it the richness of the juice now gives me sort of like a tea vibe you know like at the heart people get different things right i get like a sweet black tea vibe which has fig in it you know so i really love that like it's it's going towards like a ripeness of a uh, uh, either a drink or the tea it's very ripe it's very sweet and it's very dark you know so it gets darkened over the years i guess right so on my bottle it's that uh, sweetness and the darkness you know imagine like you dip a tea bag and you have some fruity uh, bits in there in the tea bag so you'll get like the sweetness of it like ice lemon tea if you take very strong or long island tea if you like sweet and then at the same time it's fruity uh, this is what it feels like except that long island tea is with that fig flavor so i absolutely love it i thought i was gonna just like uh, sell it back or something or give away 
no, not a chance. I thought uh, Unjar and Sule Neel is my absolute favorite. I love that green mango in this. But I think this one actually is the big daddy. You know, I have to try the other ones, but Sule Toa, Sule uh, was a few other ones like Laguna. I think there was one I haven't tried. There are a few other ones. But this line, now I'm interested. So definitely try it out. I don't know if the juice color will be different. I think it will be mild green if you buy brand new and if it's still available. I just absolutely love it. You know, I have seen review of a uh, <clears throat> few reviewers. Uh, one of the reviewers, uh, Fragrance Bros, right? He actually reviewed it with his wife. I shared it on my Fragcom Bangladesh page. And the thing is, I quite enjoyed the review because they had different kind of uh, take. Both of them did not like it the same. His wife got a little bit weak performance and he got like six hour range. So for me, it's like five and a half hours on my skin. And that's how it's okay, you know, because it's a, supposed to be a fresh perfume. Fresh fragrance, if you get more than two to three hours, good. And the most important thing is always remember, Hermes, you're paying a little bit more money for the quality ingredients. And that's what I feel it's a niche quality juice. If this fragrance, they can sell for $150, it will be still worth it, okay? Aqua de Parma, if they sell for that kind of money, this one should sell. I absolutely love it. It's just so beautiful, um, fig-based fragrance, but with those oranges and then kind of like that richness. I got this kind of like a tea vibe. There's nothing boozy about it, but it's very uplifting, very, very different. And imagine having a nice drink by the beach, nice uh, breezy uh, day, and you're just like wearing a hat, sunglasses, and you're enjoying your drink, holidays, uh, beautiful perfume. It smell. It, it feels like paradise, right? So nice, exotic fragrance. I absolutely love this. I give this for my liking, even though performance is something like seven out of 10 category, I give this fragrance for its artistic aspect, beautiful bottle presentation, I give it 10 out of 10, okay? Uh, that good. It's better than for me, Sur Lenil. Sur Lenil is nice, I like that. It's interesting, but the green mango, it's kind of like a little bit bitter in a way. This is sweeter, right? So thanks very much for watching those who wanted to uh, see the review. Please do check out the fragrance if you find it somewhere, sample it. Always remember, last word, uh, you can see a thousand reviews, but you'll never understand until you smell it. And if you actually are a fragrance lover, sometimes, you know, we do blind buys like this uh, a lot because we love fragrances. Even if it's a fail, it's okay. Love of the fragrance. But if you don't have that sort of a budget that allows you to do that, always sample a fragrance, smell it. Then you realize either I like it or don't like it. Should I study it further? It will tell you a story, right? Thanks very much for watching and I will sign out. And thanks for all the love. Once again, have a nice day. Stay safe. Ta-ta.